Okay, um, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our show. But before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of Patris, it fili, it spirit is Santi. Amen. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members, Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stopped whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false in accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are those amongst three men and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of your Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. The 
the words we take the pani to the covid 19 this is Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Monday, May 10, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off with our show this evening, here now is our daily verse for today from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Okay. Okay. Welcome back to Editorial sa Intro Radio. This evening, we will discuss to you about Autism Awareness in Terms of Employment. Advocacy groups are helping promote the rights of persons with autism and their families, but their benefits continue to expand as non-profit organizations are now pushing for career placements for them. Because of their attention, the detail, ability to concentrate, and creative thinking skills, people with autism make valuable employees. They excel at completing repetitive tasks and doing research. and typically stick with a job once they're hired. However, some employers are hesitant to hire or even interview job candidates who have autism. Adults with autism are less likely than other disability groups to find employment after graduation. Studies show that as many as 90% of adults with autism are either underemployed or unemployed. Many employers don't fully understand autism spectrum disorder and aren't aware of the benefits employees with autism can bring to their company. Here are a few reasons why adults with autism often have trouble finding meaningful long-term employment. People with autism may lack soft skills. Many individuals with autism lack soft skills, which include things like people skills, social skills, communication skills, emotional intelligence, social graces, time management skills. Because they don't have some or all of these soft skills, adults with autism can be overlooked during job interviews. Employers may not understand the underlying issues behind the person's lack of soft skills and instead write them off as uncaring or disrespectful. People with autism struggle with social interaction. Adults with autism often struggle to read social cues which can cause them to come across as inappropriate during, con during conversations. And because they may have difficulty processing their own feelings, people with autism may be unaware of the emotions of the people around them. All of this has the potential to offend other employees, leading them to form a negative opinion of the person with autism. People with autism struggle with social communication because they have trouble understanding the complexities of social interactions, people with autism may take statements very literally, which can cause problems. They might also struggle to figure out when it's their turn to talk or listen during a conversation. As a result, they, may, they might speak for an excessive period of time or seem disinterested in what other people are saying. People with autism struggle with social imagination. In many cases, Adults with autism are very uncomfortable with change. Consequently, they might struggle with planning ahead or preparing themselves for the uncertainties of the future. These traits can alienate them from potential employers during job interviews if they're asked about time management and how they handle change. What are the types of employment for adults with autism? There are three main types of employment for adults with autism. Competitive, supported, and secured or sheltered. Here's a quick overview of each type and how it handles autism in the workplace. When we say competitive employment, this is where the employee is completely independent in the work environment. They can ask their employer for reasonable accommodations in or a position that requires limited social interactions. Supported employment is where the employee has a support system in place. They might have a job that's developed just for them and their strengths. Secure and sheltered employment typically occurs in a facility-based setting The employee receives behavior training and is taught a variety of work skills. How can employers support employees with autism? There are a wide variety of ways that businesses can support their employees with autism. For starters, 
employers must have a comprehensive understanding of what autism is and what it looks like in the workplace. Companies also have to learn how to manage and reasonably accommodate employees with autism. They also need to ensure other employees know how to work with someone with autism. When interviewing someone with autism, employers should focus on whether the individual is capable of doing the job. Managers should pay attention to the person's abilities rather than any perceived limitations due to their autism. Here are a few helpful tips that employers can follow when supporting employees who have autism. Provide peer directions. It's important to provide employees with autism with clear, succinct directions and guidelines for performing their job. Employers should thoroughly explain what's expected of them and also explain the unwritten rules of the office. It can be helpful to provide written instructions for employees with autism so they have something to reference later if necessary. Bring in outside support. There are a variety of autism employment support services available for employees and their employers. Most states have vocational services for people with disabilities that can make the process of finding and maintaining a job much easier. These services include providing on-site job coaches who can mentor and monitor the employee. Job coaches can also provide ancillary employment support such as finding transportation if the person doesn't, or doesn't drive. Providing reasonable accommodations. One of the best ways employers can support employees with autism is by providing reasonable accommodations. These include the following. Providing noise, reducing headphones if noise sensitivity is an issue. Turning off or diminishing overhead lights if light sensitivity is an issue. Avoiding eye contact if this makes the person with autism uncomfortable. Respecting personal space and using verbal praise to show kindness instead of touch. Holding one-to-one -one meetings with the person to reduce social clutter and distraction. Allowing the individual to follow their own regimented schedule to reduce their anxiety. Providing information about changes in tasks of the workplace well in advance. Educate and train other employees. In many cases, other employees may not understand how to interact with people with autism. That's why education and training is so important. The employees' colleagues should understand that a person with autism isn't trying to be rude and that there are genuine needs behind their reasonable accommodations. Sensitivity training can help the entire team understand how to work together and deal with potential miscommunications. Employers can also create a training document for other staff that explains how they can best support and work with a person with autism. Designate a mentor or buddy. It can be very helpful for a person with autism to have a mentor in the office they can go to if they're anxious, confused, or stressed. The mentor should have special training in working with people with autism so they know how to help and support their co-worker. Provide consistent, constructive feedback. Consistent performance evaluations are key to the improvement and success of any employee. However, they're especially important for people with autism. Employers should hold frequent short reviews when, where they provide kind but direct feedback on how the individual is doing. It's important to thoroughly explain what the person with autism is doing wrong. Ensure they understand the problem and direct them on how to improve. Above all, employers should highlight the person's knowledge and skill set and treat them as an asset to grow and retain just like any other employee. In summary, Employing employees on the spectrum also means providing training to support their skills and training for the organization to create an inclusive culture. For managers and co-workers, awareness training can help them understand their colleagues and how to support them. Supervisors especially should receive training on effective communication strategies. For employees in the spectrum, on-the-job training for communication and other interpersonal skills is vital. Behavioral training strategies such as rewards and modeling can be especially successful with employees with autism spectrum disorder. Okay. And that's the end of our topic proper this evening. Okay. Okay, let us now uh, move on. 
to the announcements part of the show. Uh, let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. Mm. Okay, let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. Okay, first, we have products for sale at the Hansen Inclusion online shop. First, we have the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. So we will see how it looks like. It comes in yellow, white, black, red, and blue. So the price is ranged and the sizes are ranged between extra small and double extra large and prices range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos. You may be, and also, but wait, there's more. We have the, we include RES is 250 pesos. In ko, ang mga PNAPWDs is 150 pesos. And for dance and inclusion tote bag, it ranged from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. So you may pay via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan and Cebuana. You may message the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. If you are, so the delivery methods are, if you are in the NCR Plus area, NCR, Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines, it, and also nationwide, including Pampanga via LBC. As an inclusion, is, wait, just wait a minute. Do you want to donate for Hansen Inclusion? Well, it will be best for you guys to donate to Hansen Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. You may do so. It will be appreciated for you guys to pay to donate to Hansen Inclusion. You may do so via Gcash or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. 0917-701-9684. For those who did, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hanson Inclusion. Hanson Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and desktop and a strong internet connection, has committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, you may send your resume at hansin.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's hands-in.inclusion at gmail.com. On Friday, May 21, 2021, from 4 o'clock in the e afternoon to 6 o'clock in the evening, the Del Sol College of St. Minute, in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education, Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, Peter D. Garucho Jr. Innovation Institute, and the Benilogen Student Envoys will have a webinar about sensitivity and empathy. Their speakers are Dr. Therese Bustos and Mark Antikenia. The event will be done on Zoom. The event is free and there will be sign language interpreters available for the deaf and or the hard of hearing. If you're interested to join, you may follow the Center for Inclusive Education or the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion Facebook page and there's a link from Eventbrite regarding this. 
On May 29, 2021, Saturday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Hands and Inclusion will have a, our fifth webinar entitled Any Meros, Aware for Mental Health. It will be done live on Hands and Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. So watch out for that. Do you want to follow Hands and Inclusion on social media? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow Hands and Inclusion on Facebook, Instagram, Kumu, and YouTube, and other social media platforms as well. You may follow us on Facebook, Hands and Inclusion PH. Alongside the Hands and Inclusion PH Facebook page, we have Inclo Radio, Inclo Sports, Inclo Nihan, Inclo Gaming, and the online shop. For Instagram, it's Hands and Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to the Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow us on social media. And if you did, we'll be glad you did. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hanson Inclusion. We'll be having our uh, breaking news. The Malacanang, the Office of the President of the Republic of the Philippines, declares May 13, 2021, as a regular holiday due to the celebration of the Idul Fitir. Okay, so um, so to our um, so the Idul Fitir, this is a, a holiday dedicated to the um, so to our Muslim brothers and sisters in the Philippines and throughout the world, on behalf of Hands and Inclusion Philippines, I'd like to wish an, a happy Edul Adha, Edul Fitir to our Muslim brothers and sisters and to the Muslim community in the Philippines and around the world. And let's now have the time for our uh, shout outs and greetings. So first, for our birthday celebrants, we have uh, Daniel Ustiniani and Joshua Erliera. Happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, first of all, I would like to say a good evening and thank you to the following people. Good evening to, and thank you to my family. Hi! to Hands and Inclusion, to um, Roylan, Archie, Billy, Christian, Kevin, PJ Parmarejo, Val, Barria, Mitchell, and Cedric, and to my fellow members, Asher Santos, Gino, Mam Gloria, Sir Hendrik, Sir John Red, Jennifer, Johaira, Lady Jean, Marianne, Mary Jean, Myra, Rich, Rita, Roy, Roy, Galfo, Romodo, Ronald Bandan Pao, Samantha, Tara, Ma'am Veronica, and Kuya Yo. Good evening po and thank you. And also for our best buddies, uh, Philippines to uh, Michelle Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, Nino Aventajado, Jessica Malca, Cal Ebora, Alan Angelo Nang, Nina, uh, it's um, Nina Bantoto. Larry Aguirre, uh, Angela Batallones, Ali Rojas, uh, Nancy Ignacio, and uh, Pia Guanyo Mago, and the others. Good evening, po, and thank you. To the best buddies, Benil, uh, to Joey Laurito, 
Bobby Anonas, Bianca Montemayor, Sir Martin Romero, Clarissa Gonzalez, Kieran Panega, Erica Sarial, Brian Pabustan, Genevieve Gutierrez, Cray Sandova, Alexander Labrador, Emily, Emily Manalansan, Summer Vines, Janeline Apo, Jed Reyes, Chelsea Botron, Bea Victoriano, Mary Rose Ake, Danny Cachero, Josh Pabanya, Pabianya, Bianca Pura, Martin Del Rosario, Paula Lauron, Jello Ilano, Rafael Bachar, Peter Sh Derek Shu, Gabby Perez, Patricia Toralba, Sabrina Buenafe, Luis Abelera, Junior Marie Robles, Isa Madero, Nina Calderon, Bia Casas, Ashley Valenton, Jimmy Javier, Tamara, Diane Resurrection, Lucy Brito, and the others, uh, good evening po and thank you to um, Angat, to Ma'am Carmen, Sir Archie, Sir Hendrik, Ma'am Gloria, Sir Eliseo, Hindi, uh, Ma'am Chiki, uh, and the others, good evening po and thank you. To Autism Society Philippines, to Ma'am Mona Magnovilus, good evening po and thank you. Autism Strong Philippines, Raymark Badilio, Clary, uh, Raymark Badilio, Arden Asuncion, and Joel Nava, good evening po and thank you. To the uh, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, good evening po and thank you. To Project Inclusion Network, to Sir Jim Nemeno, Ma'am uh, Ma uh, Kate, and also Ma'am Kat. Kathleen and Ma'am Pauline, good, good uh, evening po and thank you. And also to the um, Child's Dream Foundation Incorporated, good evening po and thank you. To Dr. Francis de Malata, good evening po and thank you. Uh, to... Uh, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines to uh, Dr. Lirio Sabrevinas Covey, good evening po and thank you. To Ateneo Speed, the Psychological Society of Assumption, uh, and other PWD organizations, good evening po and thank you. And also, To those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. Also, we have other announcements. Um, the new president, Brother Dodo Fernandez, will be the new chancellor because Robert Tang will step down as the chancellor of Benilde on the end, at the end of August after six years in the position. The announcement was made by the Board Trust of Trustees Chairman Edgar Chua via Benilde email. This year, 2021, Hansen Inclusion is celebrating its fourth year anniversary with the theme, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. This is the true taste of One Inclusion Nation. So what is Hansen Inclusion? Hansen Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involved with the helping of persons with disabilities. We continue to share our stories and their testimonies as persons with disabilities and its advocates. Hansen Inclusion was founded by Roiland Gorospe Marlang 
a self-advocate with autism and a Benilgen alumni from Pasay City on March 8, 2017. The initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. Over, over the past four years, Hanson Inclusion had a lot of, of activities and achievements such as the webinars, live reports, testimonials, bazaars, and more. And, but the event that you will never forget is this. Nakalanas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020. Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. At as in inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and to promote our culture in our civilized society. So, the best gift for us this year is for the fourth anniversary of Hands and Inclusion is this. I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hands and Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Maging isang mabuting ehemplo tayo. We shall learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional. Act like a neutral person. Your cooperation and your attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to, and to show self-control. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos ang organisasyon na ito ng matagal. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers, regardless of your faith, for the anticipated return of Hands and Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa namang rehilyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang Hands and Inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon at sana mag magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Magliliwanag din ang kalangitan, makapatila rin ang ulan. Pagsikat ng araw, Muli mong matatanaw ang kislap ng pag-asa. May bagong simula on the sport anniversary this year. This is the true taste of one inclusion nation. Ngayong ikaapat na anniversaryo, may bagong tapang sa one inclusion nation. HNI, God first. Okay, that uh, and that is the time, uh, and that was the time for our editorial for this Monday, May 10, 2021. On behalf of Inco Radio and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. We will be seeing you again on Wednesday for the Wednesday edition of editorial. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good night. And may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain po tayo ng buong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands and Inclusion include us and include each other. And we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H-N-I, God first. Thank you. Bye for now. 
and thank you for watching. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Salamat po sa panonood at pala. Bye-bye! Oh, my God.